Hi there. Now, if you'd like to try part two of this question, then I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. But just to remind you, the answer to part one that we found out in the previous video was this, dy dx equals 2 over t minus 2t squared. So for this question, just got to find the stationary point on the curve and determine its nature. OK, so I'll just give you a moment then to pause the video. Welcome back then, if you had a go. Now you might want to fast forward if you just want to check your answer against mine, but uh, I'll take you slowly through the method. Well, we know that at a stationary point, the gradient dy by dx should equal zero. So that would mean that uh, if we just say when dy by dx equals zero, we just need to let this equation here equal zero. So therefore, 2 divided by t minus 2t squared must equal 0. And with this, I'm going to multiply both sides by t to eliminate the fraction there. So we're going to get 2 minus 2t cubed equals 0. Rearranging this then, 2 would equal 2t cubed. Divide both sides by 2 and you end up with t cubed equaling 1. And if you take the cube root of 1, you end up with t equaling 1. OK, so that's our value of t. Next then, we just need to find out what our x coordinates going to be when t is 1. So if we just say when t equals 1, substitute this into our equation up here for x. We find that therefore x would equal 1 over 1. 1 minus 1, which is 0. And having got x is 0, we can get the y coordinate as well. So substitute t is 1 in here, you've got 2 plus 1 over 1, which is 3. So therefore, we end up with y equaling 3. So we now have our stationary point. OK, let's put this down. Stationary point is then 0, 3. Now what we've got to do next is determine its nature and we've got to do it by considering the gradient of the curve either side of this point here. And you've got to take quite a lot of care over this so let's just show you how it's done and some of the snags that can come out of this. What we do is we take x, we've got our point x equals 0, we've got a stationary point now, what I need to do is look at the values of t associated with the x-coordinates that I take either side of 0. And then I should be able to work out what the gradient is given by dy by dx. And then we'll look at the slope that we get. And from that, we should be able to determine whether it's a max or a min. So we know that when t equals 1, x is 0. We know the gradient given by dy by dx is 0, and the slope would be horizontal. But it's taking points either side of this point here. And you don't want to fall into the trap of taking points given by t to the left and right of 1. You don't want to take t as 0 and t equals, say, 2 at this stage. You've got to take care there. It's the x points that you've got to take either side of 0. Now, the next snag, though, is that you might be tempted to take x equals, say, minus 1 to the left here. Look what happens if you take x equals minus 1. We'll just put it over here when x is minus 1. When x equals minus 1, you're going to get minus 1 equals 1 over t minus 1. And if you add 1 to both sides, you get 1 over t equaling 0. And if 1 over t equals 0, then t must be a very big number. But t must tend to either plus or minus infinity. OK? So I don't want to be using that value here. But if I take, say, x equaling minus a half, then substituting that into here, 
we've got minus a half would equal 1 over t minus 1. So adding 1 to both sides, we therefore end up with 1 minus a half, which is a half, equals 1 over t. And from this, clearly, t must be equal to 2. So let's just put t equals 2 in here. And we can see that dy by dx, when you substitute it in here, gives us 1 minus 8, which is going to be minus 7. So the graph is sloping downwards at this point here. We now need to step to the right of 0. And I can see that if I take x equals 1, we're going to get a nice value for t here. When x equals 1, t just has to equal a half. You can check that one out, OK? 1 divided by a half is 2. 2 minus 1 gives us x is 1. And when t equals a half, substitute it into here. You end up with 2 divided by a half, which is 4, minus a half. So 4 minus a half is 3 and a half. Positive value, so the graph is going to slope upwards here. So what we've got here is the stationary point is a minimum. And as I say, you've got to take care with your t-values here. Notice how the t-value here is not less than the 1, and the t-value over here is not greater than 1. You've got to work off your x-value. Okay?